Hey, how doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Black Myth Wukong boss guide. Today we are gonna be taking on the Black Loon, pretty much just the Black Dragon. So, yeah, I'm gonna be using the regular stance, which is a smashed stance, and we're gonna attempt to use the mix up to bypass his attacks and also get some damage in here so that jumping attack and dodge sideways to avoid this clapping attack the one dodge sideways it hits three times so yeah you can dodge sideways use your iframe to get uh through those and then here is the buried attack for uh, the smash stance. So when you're doing your regular combos, right as the boss is about to do an attack and it's about to hit you, if you hit a uh, triangle or your heavy attack, as long as you have focus points, um, if you time it right, you can actually like just get through the attack with iframe. Uh, if he's doing this little spin thing, you want to be careful because if you're in front of him, he's gonna do this lightning attack that's gonna hit you. It does decent damage. If you see his mouth having um, lightning like that, just run up to one of these rocks. Uh, there is about, I think, four around the arena. As long as the boss doesn't destroy it, it'll be fine. Just stand on top of these, and then the shockwave will just completely miss you. So yeah, when he's doing the little tornado spin thing, uh, if you're too close to him, he will hit you. If you're, uh, if you have like you know the freeze spell, or whatever, uh, you can use that to stop him to get away. Uh, if you have your heavy attacks, you can also charge up your heavy attacks and interrupt them that way as well. So, yeah. Uh, if you have it, I use my stone stance to negate the damage. So that's how I got past that. This move right here, he'll keep hitting until uh, he, he's satisfied, I guess. So the best way to get around that is you actually just... If you stand behind him, you keep hitting him as he's just doing that little march. Uh, but I got hit in the beginning there, so... Yeah, here's the little clap thing that he does with his little hammers. The side sweep, you can dodge through it, freeze him again, get some combos in, and boom. Usually he'll stagger from the light attack, uh, end combo, or end ending hit. Uh, this move right here, uh, you can dodge through it to get behind him, or if you are using the smash stance, you can also use the varied uh, combo thing, which is going from light attack to heavy attack. Uh, if you have the tree upgraded, you can use the, the iframe to bypass him and then use the heavy attack to hit him and stack him. So it's pretty good, uh, especially for this fight. Uh, thrust stance also works, except you can't like use no iframe for it as far as I know. And here I was using thrust stance to try to hit him and I almost messed up there. So this move right here, uh, you can just jump the shockwave, here comes a tornado attack again. Freeze him, and then, okay, I'm not gonna have enough <laughs> focus points to hit him with the heavy, so I backed away there. Slow clap, it has a little slow-mo, and it does a little shockwave on the ground, so you can jump that. If you're too close, I think you might get hit by electricity, so be careful. Uh, just keep a little distance, and then just jump the shockwave. And that is pretty much how you defeat the Black Loom. And yeah, upon defeating him, a chest will spawn, and this will allow you to uh, gain access to a new staff that enhances pillar stance. So, yeah, um, here are my equips going into this fight. So, this is pretty much just the main. Well, yeah, the first chapter's main final boss. Well, I guess there's only one. So, the Black Bear set and the Relic. Uh, here are my skill trees, if you guys are curious on what I have on. And here's the staff. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me just show you guys the chest, I guess. So you guys can see what you get from the beat, uh, defeating this. This is an optional boss. You don't even have to fight this guy. But if you do fight him, you'll get some uh, materials as well as a new staff. 
So, yeah, like I said, it enhances pillar stance. So if you're into pillar stance, that's what you can get. Um, you also get another accessory here that boosts um, spell recovery or spell cooldown. So here's the new staff that you can get for defeating the this dragon. And that's about it. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped if you're struggling against this boss. And if it did, hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I hope to catch you all later. Oops. Oops.